Hey, you guys, happy Friday. I just wanted to share a few reflections this week as we're kind of wrapping up the first week of Advent. Um, This week, we've been talking about this idea of hope. And we lit the candle of hope on Sunday. And we've just been talking about what, what does it mean to have hope? Where, how does God actually bring us hope? What does that look like? And I love the story of Simeon that we've been talking about because we often miss Simeon. We don't usually talk about him. We go right up to the birth of Jesus and Simeon comes in right after that. And so this week we looked at how he had been waiting like everyone else for this promised Messiah to show up, this warrior king who was going to free them from the Romans. And then God promised him specifically that he would get to see Jesus before he even died, before Simeon's life ended. And strangely enough, when he actually sees Jesus, he isn't this warrior king. He isn't even an adult. He's this tiny, frail, newborn baby that's born into this poor family. But somehow, Simeon saw Jesus as this tiny, unexpected little package and knew this was God's promise fulfilled. It was unexpected. It's small. It's very different than maybe what he anticipated, but he saw it and he knew that this was God showing up. And I think this is such a cool reminder for us to kind of reflect on this week is what are we hoping in? And are we all, are we often missing God showing up in our lives because our hope is really rooted in what we think God should do and how we think God and want God to act the ways we want God to act when maybe we might be missing it because God shows up mostly in small and unexpected ways. Even London shared last night at youth group and talked about how he had been hoping and has been hoping that God would take away his dyslexia, take away ADHD, and just take away the challenges. But he found that God showed up in different ways than he expected, that God actually showed up by helping him through it, by giving him tools and resources to help him um, and to cope. And in the process, he's seen God grow him in a deeper way and even change his perspective. God didn't change the situation, but changed him where now he's starting to realize that those challenges also, that's a part of of his strengths, that he's learned that they're also kind of a gift for him as well. And so this week, I just want to encourage you to keep reflecting on this idea of hope and to ask yourself, where do you need hope in your life? And look for ways that God may be showing up, even in the small an unexpected wrapping, just like Simeon saw Jesus in the small, unexpected baby.